Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be configuring the managed metadata service on SharePoint 2013. We'll then be creating a document library uh, that will consume the terms that we create in the managed metadata, metadata service through a custom content type. So the first thing we'll do, we'll configure, and let me actually pull up a, a notepad of the things that we'll do. So we'll uh, configure the managed metadata service. We'll uh, create a group. We'll then create uh, the uh, term set, and then we'll create a couple of terms, a couple of terms. And then once we do that, then we'll uh, go to the, uh, so switch to the site. And then on the site, we will first of all uh, add a custom content type, consume the managed metadata on a column, and then we'll uh, create a document library, and then we will uh, enable uh, the uh, the managed or or basically enable can't remember the actual feature but enable uh, consumption of custom content types and then we will add the custom content type to the document library and then we'll upload a document and assign it the managed meta data uh, value or uh, attributes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's configure the managed metadata service. So for that, we go to central application on SharePoint 2013. We click on manage service applications. Look for the managed metadata service. This is the default one. Obviously, you can create new instances of it if you want to be consuming it on different site collections or web applications or farms. We'll go ahead and manage the metadata service make sure that you've got an administrator plugged in here and save otherwise you won't be able to create uh, new groups once that is in place you come in here and uh, we'll go ahead and say we want to create a new group this new group will be say our uh, document types so we'll say document types and then, uh, so you can go in and fill in group managers and descriptions, depending on, on what, what you want to do with this, how you want to secure it, how you want to manage it. I kind of just want to get the flow of things going with this, uh, with this video. So document types, we're going to create a new term set in here. So we'll say legal document types. And then within legal document sites, we're going to have a new term. And that will be HR related or will be accounts payable related, all be accounts receivable related, all be contracts, uh, things like that. So that's good enough to get things started. So we've got, we've configured the managed uh, metadata service. We created a group, term set, and a couple of terms. So now we're going to switch over to the site and then add a custom content type, consume the managed metadata uh, through a column. So let's go to our SharePoint 2013 marketing site so we'll go to the site settings first of all and then we'll go to the site content types we'll create a new content type we'll call this legal docs this is based off a document content type so it is a document we'll go ahead and put it under the custom content type we'll go ahead and click OK we'll add uh, we'll just add that one extra a column. So whatever document accepts name, title, created date, all that good stuff we'll need, plus we'll need a managed metadata and obviously the name here will be uh, document type and then this is a managed metadata and this is where whatever we've done in central administration should appear to us in here so this is a document type legal documents we'll go ahead and click OK. So this is our uh, a quick configuration of the custom content type consuming that managed metadata uh, term set with all the terms. So now let's go ahead and uh, 
go to uh, site settings or go to site content actually because what we want to do we want to add an application that is a document library we're going to call this uh, office documents we'll go ahead and create that document library and then let's go to office documents what we want to do here is go to the library settings and let's switch back and just see where we are in, in here so we, we've we did this part switch to the site created custom type and consume the management the data on a column now we created the document library we're going to enable the consumption of custom content types and then add the custom content type to the document library so we'll go under advanced settings and then we're going to say allow management of content types yes we'll go ahead and ok this and then we'll go to the content types and we'll add from existing since we already created it which is our custom content type we'll add that so now it's ready for us to use it we'll go back to office documents and we'll say file upload a document let's browse to a document america.csv is good and then here it tells us what is the content type content type is it a document or is it a custom content type it is a custom content type here's the name title is uh, america csv file with all printer asset information I don't even know what's on that file and then office location this is a managed metadata uh, column that is consuming values or terms from the managed metadata service so we're gonna go ahead and say uh, what are these values uh, so I can come in here depending on how I configure this this can be reading directly uh, from the managed metadata service or it, I can uh, allow for this to be entered in here as well so I can come in here and say America uh, office related document and then the office location here will browse and will choose say accounts payable or we should maybe contracts we'll go ahead and select and we'll go ahead and save and now we've got a document and uh, that is uh, that is of type custom content type we can actually go in here as well into the uh, the view so we'll go to the library library settings we'll go to the main view in here and we'll expose that department as well so it'll be easier to see so we'll go to here and we'll look for uh, office location and then we'll go ahead and click oh that's the office location I think that maybe it was office location can't remember what I called it so we'll come back and office location will show us that it's contract so this will be easier for the individuals to see on the screen so we what we did go, going back to the to the uh, main agenda we configured the managed metadata service created group term sets terms went to the site created a custom type content type one of the attributes of that custom content type was that managed metadata uh, terms we created a document library enabled the consumption of multiple content types added the custom content type to the document library, uploaded the document, made sure that the custom content type is attached to it. This concludes this video. Hopefully this was helpful and thanks for tuning in.